About a year ago, when Wifey Sauce and I were moving out of our old studio slash office, we were trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible to lighten our load during the move. And this system was one of those things that we ended up giving away to our friends Martin and Marilyn so they could use it at home as a daily driver. For many months, it's been working perfectly fine up until recently when it suddenly be sodded under seemingly normal circumstances and has been unable to boot into Windows ever since. In fact, according to Martin, he's already done his uh, fair share of troubleshooting. He can't even boot into the BIOS. There's zero video signal whatsoever. So today we're gonna troubleshoot the heck out of it see if we can get to the root of the issue and hopefully fix this system to get it back up and running so they can use it once again. Let's go ahead and turn it on. That's usually step one. Before diving in, this video is sponsored by the Silverstone PF360 ARGB. Offered in 120, 240, and 360 millimeter variants, this competitively priced AIO features a super quiet three-phase six-pole pump with a multi-chamber design for improved cooling. PWM fans offer high static pressure along with rubber padded corners for suppressed noise and vibration. Addressable RGB lighting effects can be configured via motherboard software or the included RGB controller. To learn more about the Silverstone PF360 ARGB, click on the link below. Let's go ahead and turn it on. That's usually step one. I mean, power's looking good. We've got fans and stuff. Things are making noise, but no video signal yet. While we're waiting for things to ramp up here, this is an Intel-based system on the Z370 platform. The motherboard is a Gigabyte Aorus Z370 Gaming 7. If you will focus, please just focus for me. Thank you. And we've got 16 gigs of RAM from Guile. Rhymes with Kyle, something only a Kyle would notice. And we currently have a Core i7-9700 in here. That's actually a brand new CPU. Martin just swapped in for the original 87 because he was suspecting the CPU may be the culprit. Unfortunately, that did nothing to solve the issue and we're still getting the same result. One thing I want to mention though, while Z370 is compatible with 9th gen core CPUs, you do need a BIOS update in order to make that work. And because Martin was saying he couldn't access the BIOS with the 8700 installed, I'm assuming that this motherboard does not have the proper BIOS to even make this 9700 post. Fortunately, I have an 8700K right here that we're gonna swap in right now. So let's go ahead and try booting this sucker. Turn him on. Okay, fans are spinning. Things are looking good once again. So far, no video signal whatsoever. Not even a BIOS prompt. That oh, what the f I, I'm just a god. You should all bow down to me and give me your cold hard cash. I really have no idea why his system wasn't posting before. Now I really wish I would have told them to bring along the old CPU so we could test it out and see if that was the root of the issue. We have the system up and running, but we're not completely out of the woods yet because Martin bought this 9700K and I'm sure he wants to use it. It's faster than the 8700 and it has two more cores at its disposal. So BIOS update. Wow, this has quickly gone from a nightmare troubleshooting video to a casual BIOS flashing walkthrough. Oh, this is I mean, this is great for me. This is a way easier video than I thought. All right, let's, let's update a freaking BIOS. Now, as I already briefly mentioned, in order to update a BIOS to support a newer generation CPU, you need the older generation CPU in order to do it. And since I've already installed the 8700K, we have already completed this step, which means we can move on to downloading the BIOS. We could use the existing system to do that, but I'd rather not invade Martin's privacy. It's probably password protected anyway, as it should be, so I'm gonna use my computer. So to find the proper BIOS for your motherboard, you're gonna wanna search the web, for your motherboard model, which is Z390 Horus Gaming 7. And it should pop up right here. So you want to go to the motherboard manufacturer's website, which is Gigabyte in our case. Boom, 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 boom. You want to make sure that you're actually at the right page. A lot of these boards look alike, or they might have a Rev1 or a Rev2 next to them. So make sure that you're at the proper manufacturing product page. And once you're there, you should see something like support. And it's going to ask you for an operating system, most likely, which we are on Windows 10. And then you just look for the BIOS. So you just look for, hey, there you are, BIOS. And usually it'll have a bunch of different versions. You want the latest version, which for our board is F15. A. So we're gonna download this sucker. All right, all right, just let it download. So usually a pretty quick download. Go ahead and do it. You may have to extract it. Typically there will be a number of files in there, but the one that you really want is the actual BIOS file that usually has a random string of numbers and letters as its name, which means it's this guy right here. So we're gonna put that on a flash drive. Flash drive. Da -da 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 -da. It's funny we're using an AMD flash drive for an Intel BIOS. Then you just want to transfer that BIOS file over to your flash drive's root folder. Do not put it in a folder of any kind, just put it in the root. 
straight up. Then you can eject the drive and stick it into the PC that needs a new BIOS. Specifically, you wanna stick it in one of the USB ports behind your system at the rear IO. Now, sometimes it matters which port you stick it in and sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on your specific model of motherboard. So check your motherboard's manual under the updating BIOS section to find out if there's a specific port you need to plug it into. Rather than read the manual, I'm gonna take a guess and stick it into this red port because it's red, which might mean that's the one that you wanna stick it in if you're updating the BIOS. And I am also what we in the tech industry like to call lazy. So once that's in, you can turn your system on. Turn it on and mash delete, mash delete to get in the BIOS. Usually you wanna mash delete to get into your BIOS. Sometimes it's F2, other times it's a different key, but usually it's one of those two. If neither of those keys work, then consult your motherboard manual. Why did we not get into the BIOS there? Oh, because we're not plugged in. Make sure your keyboard and mouse are plugged in. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'm a professional. Reset. Match delete, match delete. Yep, okay, splash screen. Should take us into the BIOS, boom. Sometimes if you're quick enough when that prompt comes up, it'll tell you exactly what key you need to hit in order to bring you straight to the BIOS flashing tool, assuming that your motherboard has one, which in our case, it, it does. So it, I think it's called Q flash. So you have to look, I mean, every motherboard's different. So again, consult the motherboard manual. I know I'm telling you how to do this and I just keep telling you to read the manual, but every board is kind of different. So you kind of have to look around for it. Uh, I don't see Q flash anywhere here. Q flash, there it is. Boom, 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 boom. Oh wait, hang on, you can use the mouse, you can use the mouse, boom, Q flash. So now it's saying, do you want to update your BIOS or save a BIOS? We want to update that. Unfortunately, it's smart. It already located the BIOS file that we want. Go ahead and click that and update that circle. Updating BIOS right now. Usually takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes, give or take. Just let it do its thing. Do not power down the system for any reason. Actually, you should probably have this thing plugged into a UPS if you're really paranoid or you just have really safe practices unlike me. So hopefully the, the power doesn't die because that could seriously break your system if your system shuts off or loses power during a BIOS update. We are almost finished. Oh, that was like a two minute update. That was quick. Reboot. It's gonna reboot. It's gonna do its thing. Just let it chill. Sometimes it'll do funky things like boot several times without any kind of video signal letting you know that everything's okay and you shouldn't immediately freak out. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so it's looking like we're gonna boot into Windows at this point. Ah, oh, the cat hair. The cat hair is everywhere. Yep, 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 yep. All right, oh yeah. So if you get to Windows and there was no warning prompt along the way or anything like that, that means that you've successfully flashed your BIOS. You could always boot back into the BIOS to check the actual version. It'll say it right there, but I've done this enough times to know that everything went smoothly, which means we are now officially ready to install our new CPU. And this time around, it should work flawlessly because the BIOS is updated, which ensures that all the hardware is gonna play nicely together. So at this point, we are ready to stick this 9700K back into the system. Woohoo! Doki ahi pokey. We've got the 9700K installed, BIOS is up to date, and we are ready to turn the power supply on. How many times, it's not even plugged in. Kyle, how many times have you done this? Overprivileged YouTubers always expecting everything to plug themselves in. Okay, there we go. Three, two, one. Da -da -da -da. Come on, baby, give me a sign. Let me know that you're booting fine. Bum, 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 woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. BIOS updates, save lives, heck to the yeah. And now Martin and Marilyn can use the system again with the updated 9700K and hopefully it won't give them any more problems for a very long time. But I think that concludes this surprisingly easy video. I was really hoping that we'd get our hands dirty with some troubleshooting. On the flip side, this could be a good PSA or reminder to those of you who are upgrading your CPU with a chip that's compatible with your existing motherboard but may need a BIOS update in order to get it working. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful, I guess. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the video, toss a like before you go. Get subscribed for more tech content on the way and check out bitwit.tech. What are you waiting for? Go to the store, buy something. All of our merchandise guarantees a lifetime supply of wealth, love, and happiness. Apart from that, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Actually, you know, while I have this build here, I kind of want to do some stuff with it just to spice it up a bit, you know? Uh, excuse me, I'm doing something here. Hello, <laughs> master, master, would you, would you mind getting out of the shot, please? No, okay, yep, yeah, just, you're fine where you are, sir. I'll, I'll work around you. So a couple things I'm noticing here, ketchup and mustard cables, uh-uh. This was fine a year ago, but I, I gotta fix it. I, I just can't hand the system back to them like this. So we're gonna take care of that. Functionally speaking, the memory is perfectly fine, but for some reason, the RGB lighting's not working. I don't know if it's always been like that or what, but maybe we can do something about that as well. I think those are the only two aesthetic tweaks that I would make, apart from the CPU cooler, which just looks so budget because, it's a budget cooler. Uh, also, I guess this we can tie into functionality here because now that we have a 9700K in here, I don't know.
know if Martin's planning to overclock, if he's interested in getting into that, but I'm just gonna overclock it for him because he paid extra for the k skew, which ships with an unlocked multiplier, so we're gonna take advantage of that, uh, which means that this cooler is probably not the most fit for the job because the 9700K can get a bit toasty, so we'll have to fix that. And airflow in the case, otherwise, shut up, phone. The, the airflow in the case is probably fine. We've got a one, oh my God, come on. We've got a 140 at the front and a 140 at the rear, but no fans at the top. If we go with an AIO, then I'll probably mount it to the front. I'll, I'll mount the radiator to the front. That'll give us two or three fans there. Maybe we can relocate this fan to the top or maybe even just go with some RGB fans if I have any extras lying around. So we'll just have to wait and see what we have. Actually, what are we waiting for? Let's go check now. Let's see if I'm memory. Let's go with, uh, what is this? 16 gigs, 3200, done. RGB. It's easy as one, two, three. Ooh, this would actually match perfectly. These are the Fractal Design RGB fans going inside of the Fractal case would match very nicely. I forget what they call them. Prism, oh yeah, Prism, the Prisms. We've got three 120s in this pack and then a 140 down there, done. Let's see what extensions we have here. So a lot of these are like half kits or partial kits because uh, I didn't need to use all of the cables, but that means that they're not a complete set. So I can't really use them now. I wanna go with like black, white, or silver because those are the colors in the build. So like we have this 24 pin in white, which could work, but I think we need an eight pin and a six pin for our GPU, which I only have double eight pins. That sucks. There's this sucker. Ooh, this actually feels, I think this is a full kit. Let's see what color it is. And you are, oh, come on. What is this? Black, black and silver. This, this'll work. So we've got some Krakens into his house. Got a Z63, which I actually have plans for later. So I can't use this one. There is a, that's a power supply. We don't need a power supply. Aha, Kraken X53, the successor to the mighty X52. Looks pretty much the same, but I think it's got a few new tricks up its sleeve. 240 millimeter AIO. Let's go with this one. So we've got a cooler, memory, fans, and cables. The four of these things should go into the system pretty easily. Shouldn't take me too much time at all, but I have made a little bit more work for myself in this video. So let's get Kraken. Step one. Handle your hardware with care. Yeah! Dost thou not see how dirty this is? And there we go. He's fine, he's fine. Just give him some air. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. Uh, no, we got a straggler. He's holding on for dear life. There we go. Take this sucker up. And uh, we'll get you all cleaned up in just a moment here, sir. Come on, you little nut. Oh, it's so tight. I'll be back. Plate. Do you think I'm weird? California dreaming, CPU cleaning. Get that IA drill super shiny like it's new. Look at how bright it is. Blinded by the light. Well, if you don't like the way I do things, then you can suck it. All right, we've got pre-applied thermal paste on the cooler. You see that? I'm gonna get the stupid plastic. <laughs> see, so don't freak out, anyone. No, he forgot the thermal paste. It's gonna overheat the chip and burn it to hell. No, I, I, we're good. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do screw one over here. Then we're gonna do the opposite corner to apply even pressure on the IHF. You should feel it getting tighter. Water block installed. When you're a fan, everything blows. Memory time. I'm gonna go slots two and four for this dual channel kit. <laughs> that is so beautiful. These RGB fans bring me so much cheer, but they also bring my wallet to tears. Do you know what time it is? It's cable time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! Here comes the big boy. One-handed legend. Okay, I think, I think we're done. Oh no, wait, no we're not. Hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. Now we're done. All right, let's fire it up. Woo oh, We've increased the bling at least 20 fold. I'll let Martin and Marilyn customize the colors to their liking, but it is done, people. Look at that. And it's purring, it's purring like a kitty. All right, I'm really leaving this time. Thanks for watching, bye.